Hey guys, I'm Tony Tian, and if you're new to this channel, I'm Sek Heyman, who's in the University of Togo. So today we're, we're going to be talking about is the hard sound. So I'm going to uh, run a summary. We're going to go through all the scenarios that you that your heart can make sound. Okay, so um, before we actually start into it, as always, we need to go through some of the basic concepts about it. So basically, we need to be aware that uh, in our heart, there are four chambers. We have the left and right atrium and the left and right ventricles. And uh, in between the atrium and the ventricles, we have these cups, uh, cusps, and we call them the, tris uh, tr the mitral valves and the tricuspid valves. And basically, they're leaflets that prevent uh, the blood from having a backflow. So it's the same as the valves uh, within your venous, uh, venous vessels in your veins. So basically, its function is just prevent backflow. So basically, um, if the blood goes in from the atrium to ventricle, you have uh, the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve uh, from uh, preventing the blood from going back into the atrium from the ventricles. And therefore, when the ventricles is ejecting blood into the aorta, we also have a similar structure um, to prevent the backflow so that uh, we can ensure the blood is staying in the blood vessel. And these two um, uh, valves are called uh, the aortic and the pulmonary valves. So uh, the tricuspid valve and uh, the mitral valve are also being known as the AV valve, the atrioventricular valve, just simply because of their location. All right. So normally, when um, so it's sort of a common sense that we when we have our heartbeat uh, every single time, we produce two sounds, the S1 and S2. That's how we sort of name it. Um, with jargon and uh, the S1 referring is referring to the AV valve shutting, the atrial ventricular valve shutting, and the S2 is referring um, to your um, uh, to your aortic valve and your pulmonary valve shutting. And um, basically, normally they shut at the same time, and that's why they produce uh, two very regular heartbeat. But sometimes you can get uh, what we call a splitting of the S2 heartbeat, and this occurs when the pulmonary valve. Uh, closest a little bit later than the aortic valve, and this is usually due to now uh, there's a lower pressure um in bet uh, in your thoracic space. The intrathoracic pressure is dropping, and um a very common example for your intrathoracic pressure to drop is when you're having an inhalation because when you take a deep breath, your lung is expanding and basically you're getting more intra intrathoracic uh, intrathoracic space, and basically you have a reduced pressure, and therefore um because there's less pressure in your pulmonary circulation than your systemic circulation, the blood tends going to the uh, pulmonary circulation a little bit more because uh, water just, or blood, it's the same thing, just flows from higher pressure to lower pressure. So basically what's going to happen is after the aortic valve is shut, normally the pulmonary valve is going to shut at the same time, but because there's this uh, pressure difference due to the breathing or whatever condition it is, that um, the blood is still flowing into the pulmonary circulation even after the aortic valve is shut. So the pulmonary valve is just going to shut a little bit later. And it is a relatively common presentation and it's often present when the patient is having this inhalation. So basically they have this on and off uh, splitting of S2. And then there are also other heartbeats like the S3 and S4, which were normally considered as the um, abnormal finding. So the S3 is uh, what caused by usually caused by a rapid ventricular filling into a very compliant left ventricles. So basically, compliance is that how much your blood vessel can deform into other shape. And basically, for our heart, we want we want to have a certain amount of compliance. This is because we want to uh, allow it to have extra space to expand and to squeeze more blood out when we're doing exercise and stuff. So this can be a normal finding in children because they have uh, very um, very loose and relaxed um, la uh, muscular layer of the ventricles because they're just newborn babies. And then you have the pregnant females because they have um, an extra baby to supply blood for. Therefore, they might get more blood returning and um, have a little bit of expansion um, on their heart. And also, very well-trained athletes, you might have this S3 heart sound. So the S3 can uh, be considered as a normal finding from time to time, but um, quite often it's uh, more likely to be a sign of a systolic heart failure. 
and systolic heart failure basically means your your heart felt or your heart wall is being too dilated that it doesn't have enough uh, strength it doesn't have enough structure uh, integrity to sort of contract and to squeeze the blood enough to sustain the the blood circulation of your body so um basically the compliance thing when it gets too much then it becomes a bad thing so it's the same uh, within our veins our veins is the storage vessel it stores a lot of blood uh, just in case if we bleed or something we don't bleed out and just goes into a coma straight uh, straight away and um, this is because our vein has uh, a decent amount of compliance that it can expand and store extra blood but when this compliance goes too much then you are actually going to have this condition called the varicose, varicose vein and basically um, it's um, it's this dilation of your vein. Your vein goes all serpentine. It's a very common presentation in a lot of elderly patients, and yeah, and they have the S four. So basically, this is when your heart don't have enough compliance, and this is caused by the blood striking a uh, non-compliant left ventricle, and it causes a certain vibration. And this is usually uh, the result of severe left ventricular hypertrophy. So hypertrophy means um, hyper means too much. Trophy means mus muscle growth. So you have too much muscle growth in your left ventricle. Basically, um, because of the constant expansion, your heart starts to get really, really muscular. And it can be a good thing. It means you have a strong heart. But also when it gets too muscular, right? It act it's actually limiting the space inside of your heart. And... Um, limiting the compliance and your heart may, uh, is not going to be able to expand as it's supposed to be so basically um, it's not going to have enough refill to actually sustain the systemic uh, circulation so same thing and you know, in this uh, in this circumstance you might get an increased heart rate as well because your heart is trying to contract really fast because it doesn't have enough, enough space for the blood circulation all right, so that's basically everything you need to know about heart sound. And if you have any more questions, just leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.